Hey friends. Today we have a different video plan. It's a budget video. We get a lot of questions about how much do you spend in a bus? Is it better than living in a house? Can we afford a house? So we decided to put together um, two months worth of our expenses and kind of share them with you. The difference between these two months is one, we travel a lot. So we moved the bus a lot. And the other one... We drove in the Jeep a lot. Because we decided to park the bus and enjoy a place. We're talking about February of 2019 and March of 2019. Yep. We track all of our expenses through, uh, through an application that's linked with our bank account. So uh, we can go through very easily and look at fuel expenses, food, and then we put in things like our connectivity so that would be our cell phones, our mobile hotspots, um, and things like that. Yeah. Um, so they may be different for you. Uh, we'll, we'll, I guess, all encompassing yeah. put that together for you. These are our expenses. Mm -hmm. um, you may think that some of them are outrageous. We thought some of them were kind of crazy when we were going through the budget as well. Um, but this is just a brutally honest what we spent since we've been on the road. Let's start with February of this year. That was my birthday month. Yep, so in February we were in California. Yeah, we were in San Diego to be exact. Yep. This means we drove the bus there yep. and we stayed there for around a month. Yep. Almost the entire month of February we were in San Diego and a lot of the expense and fuel for the bus was on the way there. So let's start with that. Yep. When we drive a big bus, 40 feet school bus plus a Jeep, how much did we spend on diesel that month? So, leaving Arizona, going into California, we spent four hundred and nine dollars um, on diesel. So that ended up being right at a hundred gallons. While we were in California, we did make a trip down to San Isidro and filled up. So we used about a half a tank um, driving around San Diego with the bus, and we filled up before leaving San Diego as well. So that was a total of 409. That actually may have been a little less than a full tank of fuel because diesel fuel was almost $5 per gallon while we yeah. were there. Yeah, it was pretty expensive. But then when we got there, we parked the bus somewhere and then we used the Jeep most of the time. Yep. And we really didn't travel far in the Jeep, which is kind of mm -hmm. crazy, but we still spent $143 in gas for the Jeep. In unleaded, yeah, unleaded gas for the Jeep, which just a gripe for me. California gas is not very good. And it's very expensive. Yeah. That took us to how much we spend in food. Yep. This is the part that both of us were like, whoa, this yeah. is a lot of money. But if you think about it, we both used to have full-time jobs before. We got groceries once a month or so, mm -hmm. but we ate out every single day. Yeah, every every lunch was eating out. Yeah. Half of our dinners were eating out as well. We ended up spending a lot of money. I don't think we keep track of that, but I can imagine. Yeah. Living in the bus, that was one of our goals. We were trying to spend as little as we could in food going out. Mm -hmm. So we tried to cook every single one of our meals. Of course, we treat ourselves sometimes and go out and eat out, but how much did we spend on groceries. So in the month of February, we spent a little over $500. It was actually $506 on groceries, which is double what we used to spend in a month, like when we were living in a home. And eating out. Yeah, eating out in San Diego. We decided that we wanted to go out. It was my birthday. Um, we had friends around town, so we went out quite a bit, more than what we normally do. Um, so we spent $392 in food out. Yeah. That's a lot of food. Yeah. That's a lot of money. <laughs> we, we spent almost as much um, eating out as we did in groceries. But going through this, I was really mind blown at how much we spent on either of them because you yeah. just don't see it. Um, but we do eat almost every meal um, in the bus. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as snacks. Just February, San Diego was a little different. And we had a lot of friends around yeah, with us. we did. So we didn't cook just for two people. Sometimes we, we cook for more people. And same, they, sometimes they will cook for us as well. So that, that is a good point that I didn't even think about. So we should preface that by saying that we had almost every meal one or two extra people mm -hmm. in the bus. 
Um, and then we did go out. We had Plant Power and mm -hmm. the the Thai restaurant. Mm -hmm. We went out quite a bit. Yeah. Um, in San Diego. Then these are some of the expenses that we have month to month. Yeah, we can always count on these expenses. So we know that we have these for sure. So uh, this brings us into connectivity. So cell phone, we both have unlimited cell phone service. Yes. Which we use to post our videos, watch TV, and things like that, right? Yep. We uh, we never have an issue with, with phone service or with data, so... So, we have a family plan, mm -hmm. and that cell phone bill is $331. So, we use AT&T. Um, we have only been in one place where ATT did not work for us, um, but that was nice because we really just kind of wanted to swim. We didn't want yeah. to call or text or message anybody. Mm -hmm. so that includes... Um, our phones, our phone payments, our iPad, and then um, we also have hotspots that we can put on the account if we want to, um, and all of these have unlimited data. So um, that allows us to upload our videos from relatively anywhere. Um, so it's an absolute must for us. Maybe a little bit more expensive than what you plan um, on the road or what you would need on the road, but mm -hmm. for us, this is really bare minimum what we could what we yeah. could do. Yeah, we also pay for Netflix, which we use pretty often. Yeah, well, we started using pretty often. Yeah, yeah. we spend $54 a month. So that's web hosting, our shop management, and, and Netflix. Netflix. Then we have maintenance. Yeah, so maintenance for the bus, maintenance for the Jeep, um, things like that. So while we were in San Diego, um, we disconnected the Jeep one day to go to Ikea. In a mad dash of disconnecting the Jeep, I left one of the tow bolts and um, safety clips on the uh, bumper of the Jeep and we lost it. So we can't tow the Jeep without it. So I had to find an RV dealership or RV maintenance like shop and they made me two new uh, tow bolts and that cost us $40. But these are things that you don't have to spend on every month. Yeah. It's just surprise, here we go. Here's, here's something for your automobile. So it could be oil, it could be filters, it could be, you know, emergency breakdowns and mm -hmm. things like that. So uh, for us, February, it was just a stupid mistake on my behalf, but it cost us $40. Um, and that's pretty much it. We didn't have any other type of routine maintenance that we had to do for the Jeep or the bus or anything. Then talking about these surprise things that you don't have to spend money on every month, but you probably could control, yes. it's shopping. Yep. We did go to Ikea. We went to Ikea. We, well, there's a story behind the Ikea trip. The mirror in the bathroom broke, so we decided to go to Ikea to buy a new mirror. But that we find something else and then we put something else in the car. So that ended up being $165. Yeah. We just bundled that into miscellaneous expenses. Each month could be a little bit different. These are more for our unexpected, unintended, not planned or budgeted purchases. Um, but that's really all we did in February. So the total for February living expense um, was just over $2,000. It was 2040 bucks. Um, almost even. I think there was some change in there. But it's not that bad. If you think about it, when we used to be at the house, that was pretty much what we had to pay in mortgage. Our, yeah, our mortgage was half of that. Plus electricity, plus insurance, Modern. plus car payments, plus motorcycle payments. So we had a lot in our hands when we were yeah. living in a house. And we spent a lot more on our miscellaneous stuff. Mm -hmm for things that we didn't need. Yeah. We're gonna talk now about March expenses, which was a month that we didn't move up much at all. So that means the bus was not using as much diesel. So we, we filled up um, uh, from March, the end of February coming into March, we left San Diego and we went to Phoenix, Arizona. Mm -hmm. So we did uh, fill up probably a third of a tank of, of diesel fuel and we spent $108 on diesel the entire month of March. Um, so we, we really bounced between, what, three places mm -hmm. um, the entire time that we were there. So it was much different than when we were in San Diego. We were back and forth almost every day. So we stayed like a week and a half to two weeks at a time um, in one location in, in March, which was, um, was actually really nice. And fuel was significantly cheaper in Arizona, just yeah. in general. But gas, we spent, we spent more, um, about, I don't know, 28% more on fuel for the Jeep than we did, um, in 
San Diego, but the kicker is we use the Jeep every day. Yeah. And much further distances, which is why I say fuel in California must be really terrible. Yeah. Because we would spend 60 bucks filling up the Jeep and it would be gone in a day and a half. Yeah. And we hadn't driven anywhere but San Diego. And we only spent $211 on gas for the Jeep for the entire month, which was pretty awesome. Um, I'm very happy with our fuel expenses there. That's the way I like to travel. <laughs> that take us to food. And this one blew my mind. This one, Chase, was like, whoa, we have to do something about it. Yeah, it was crazy. So, same, we were with a lot of people in March, and we cook a lot. In food and groceries this month, we spent 710 let that sink in. Seven hundred and ten dollars for groceries in one month. Chase is about to cry. <laughs> that's like, that is a mortgage in some in some areas. Yeah. Like that's crazy. Yeah. Um, that's rent for some yeah, people probably. Yeah. I guess to to Marose's point, we were with people for half of March. Mm -hmm. Pretty much all. We were without people for a week. Yeah. Like I all love cooking and I love inviting friends over. So I will cook for everybody you know seven hundred and ten dollars in groceries that is a lot of money but in good hand we didn't go out as much as we went we out three times and we spent it ninety dollars yep that's so, not bad so it was about thirty dollars a meal roughly we spent less in food in march than we did in april but we spent significantly <laughs> more in sprouts in, <laughs> in uh, March than we did in um, February. February. Yeah, I said April earlier. So connectivity, um, that's same. exactly the same as it was before. Uh, $331 on our cell phones and hotspots. Um, $54 on all of our web hosting. And, and, and that's just hosting. That's not the total cost for the website. Yes. So uh, we'll cover that later though. In March, we didn't have any problems with the bus or the Jeep, so thank you. We have zero dollars on maintenance. Yep, we didn't have to cover or, or pay for anything um, vehicle or bus maintenance related um, in March, so that was really cool. Um, however, going into our miscellaneous expenses, this is why you always need um, a budget for things. Um, mm -hmm. We did have other things that came up. So, for example, well, let's start celebrating before we talk about all these crazy numbers. Now I'm a resident of the United States. The government sent us a letter that said she could go and get her tests for uh, American residency. So yes. we had to go. None of that's covered by any insurance at all. So, so all of that was out of pocket and we spent $764. In two days. Yeah. And now she's a resident. Another thing that we spent money on was propane. We ran out of propane. So in March, we spent $26 on propane. That was the first time that we had to fill up since we left in January. So that's, that's not bad. 26 bucks split over four months. That's not bad at all. Then we have water. We have a hundred gallon wa fresh water tank. And if you're lucky enough, you can find it very cheap or free. Yep which is not all the time, but in March, we were able to fill up when we were in Ehrenberg, which was a very, very affordable place to fill up and dump your tank. And we split this water between two different sections. So first was our Ehrenberg water where we filled up two times. Mm -hmm. um, that cost us $4. Mm -hmm. Then when we were in Phoenix, it was not as easy or as cheap to find a place to fill up our water. The only place that we had it close enough was a campground and they charge $15 for dumping and filling up your water. Yeah. We did this once. Yeah. We did use their showers to limit our water usage. Yeah. Um, and we did that two times, which cost us $14. Yes. And then before leaving Phoenix, we decided instead of paying for the showers and paying for the dump Which was 15 and the water plus pill, 14, it was like... Why we didn't stay a night in the campground. So, so we, we spent stayed a night. thirty dollars on a campground where we have free electricity, free water, free showers, and the free drum, free uh, where do you put your trash? Yep, yep, a garbage uh disposal? disposal. Yeah, garbage disposal area. I guess. 
So, with all that being said, how much did we spend in the month of March? $2,353. You might be wondering, uh, does these people pay for your insurance? Does these people doesn't have any other expenses? Well, we do. Just a, just a list of some other things that we did um, figure we could talk about. It's not necessarily a monthly budget. And again, our situation is a little different than your situation maybe. Um, but for us, um, we figure that, well, we pay our insurance for the bus, for the Jeep, um, and we pay our website expenses um, at an annual basis. So all of those expenses are something that we pay annually, but we figured we would talk about them for you. You can do the math and break them up over what it would cost you know, each month uh, additional, uh, but it's easier for us to pay those up front and not have to worry about it. The breakdown for those four things website elements and both of the vehicle insurances comes out to about 1380 bucks um, all paid up front um, whenever the the time is due for them so yeah so with all these being said now you're going to be the judge do you think it's more affordable living in a house or in a bus for me still the bus oh yeah absolutely with all this being said i hope this video was helpful i hope you enjoy it if you enjoy it and you find it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let us know what your major expenses are below, or if there's something that we didn't cover um, that we might have an answer for, let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. We'll try and get back to you. Do you like this kind of videos? Let us know. Do you want to see how we make money on the road? Because we do make money on the road. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment. What else do they have to do? I have no idea. That's pretty much all. If you didn't know, we have merchandise that you can get down below in the description. Description. We'll, we'll catch you, you later, guys. We'll see you in the next video.